Mary could have been remembered as the loneliest queen of her time, a widowed mother far from home and family, and allegedly betrayed by her husband, King Frederick. She also bears the sad record of losing two of her trusted persons at the Danish court simultaneously. It's evidently not easy for a commoner to become a queen. From our Queen Letizia to Princess Charlene of Monaco, all members of the royal family have experienced moments of profound loneliness upon taking up their role within the palace walls. But if there is one commoner who has made loneliness her motto, it's Mary Donaldson. Mary has essentially made loneliness her motto, a recurring theme of the foundation that bears her name since 2011. Unfortunately for her, Mary often encounters this challenging feeling of emptiness. At the age of 25, in 1997, she lost her mother while already living away from her family an experience that marked her and about which she has spoken publicly on several occasions, highlighting how lonely she felt at the time. I felt lonely in my pain, that nobody understood me, and that I was standing still while everyone around me moved forward," she explained in a Danish TV show in 2015. Mary Donaldson realized the weight of loneliness for the second time when she moved to Denmark in 2002. It was a cultural shock, to which she had to add the pressure from the media, the exile from her homeland, and the language barrier. Despite her attempts to garner support at the palace, her efforts were in vain. The first official person responsible for Queen Mary's well-being at the Danish court was Countess Victoria Bernstorff Glidenstiern, personally chosen by Queen Margaret from among her entourage. The privilege of training the new royal lasted only a short while for the veteran countess because, in 2006, Mary Donaldson dismissed her, replacing her with another Dane with good connections, whom she had met long before the wedding when she was just the exotic Australian fiancé of the heir and went out in a gang with her friends. One of these friends was Peter Huyring, and his then-girlfriend and later wife was Caroline Huyring. Caroline enthusiastically took on the task of becoming the trusted person and shadow of the new queen at her public events. Moreover, she was no stranger to the palace belonging to the best representatives of Danish society allowed her to become one of Queen Margaret's chambermaids since 2000. After two years during which Caroline combined the duties of a lady-in-waiting, personal secretary, and advisor to the Queen's foundation, Mary sought reinforcement from another young woman she liked, Tanja Doki, one of the first people she became good friends with when she arrived in Denmark. However, mixing friendship with work did not bear the fruits Mary had hoped for, and both women, who had become her confidantes, left her in the same year, 2014, without giving any hint as to why they left her. In the case of Tanja Doki, the Danish press reported that she found it insufficient to play the role of the shadow of the royal family. Before accepting the position at the palace, she worked as a public relations consultant at a major shipping company, as well as in PR agencies such as Burson Marsteller, Cone Wolf, and Edelman PR Worldwide in New York. Being married to musician Chris Mindoki naturally, a friend of King Frederick, her decision to leave the Queen Consort was quite justified, given that her name had already been entered into Crack's Blue Book Who's Who, and she had received the highest award that the Danish Royal House bestows on its employees. Moreover, she had a lucrative job offer from Mare's Container Industry. The case with Caroline Huyring was a bit more surprising, as they seemed like a fitting pair. In 2011, she was the godmother of Prince Vincent. In 2012, they were seen together at the London Olympics, laughing and raising children together. All this time they shared vacations, their children were good friends, and they even attended the same centers. But everything ended in 2014. Caroline tried to leave her position without creating drama, despite the press's interest. Eventually, she wrote an email to the BT publication to explain why she left the Queen. There's no mystery. It was eight very educational and full of experience years at the Royal Court and Mary's Foundation, and I was incredibly happy in my job. However, I decided I wanted to try something else, although I haven't yet decided what exactly. Caroline is currently an advisor to another Danish foundation for childcare named Ole Kirk's Fond, 
and in January of the same year she resigned from her only official connection still linking her to Mary Donaldson her position on the board of directors of the Mary Foundation. If after this separation in 2014 they still, 